Today I'm gonna to take you through a 30 minute full body barbell workout for functional strength. You can do this as a follow along with me and we've got a great rock music soundtrack to keep you motivated. But first up, we're gonna kick things off with an empty bar warm up. This warm up consists of four exercises, 30 seconds each for two rounds. I'm gonna start off with the bar level the collarbone. I'm gonna do an overhead press. I want you to get your elbows directly under the bar or even slightly out in front. You're going to press the bar up and above your head, finishing above the crown of your head. Bringing it back down. So you want to get underneath the bar nice and early. And finishing in that top position with a nice straight line from the hand down to the ankles. Make sure those elbows stay either under the bar or even out in front. We're going to link this straight into a back squat. So let's bring the bar onto your back. We're going to go for some squats. So knees pushed out. Keep your heels on the floor. Hit your maximum depth without rounding your upper or lower back. We're going to link this straight into some Romanian deadlifts. So bring the bar up and over your head. Narrow your stance, hinge at the hip. So you should have parallel feet for a Romanian deadlift, no turnout. You're pulling the hips backwards. You want relatively straight legs. You can soften the knees, so you're just unlocking them slightly. You're reaching for that nice hamstring stretch. Keeping the bar running close to your body. From here, I'm gonna go into a press up position without the barbell. We need to alternate feet up on the outside of the hand. Just spending a brief moment straightening the back leg and sinking into that groin stretch. From here, be straight back to our feet for that second round with the overhead press. So pick your bar up, straight into it, pressing up, getting underneath the bar, working on getting the bar nice and close to the collarbone, slight external rotation to the shoulders, bringing the elbows forwards or under. bringing the bar onto your back for those squats. Should be nice and easy for this warm up. Just getting the joints moving, getting your range of motion up to its max, ready for the main strength sections. So you should have a slightly wider stance for this. Turn out of the feet and then knees pushed out to match that foot angle. Bringing the bar over, Romanian deadlift, so hinge at the hip, unlock knees, but relatively straight, get your lats pulled around your body, so you're not rounding your back. Lead the movement by pulling the hips backwards rather than leaning the bar forwards. onto the floor, into the press-up position. I'm doing it on my knuckles. You can do it on the flats of your palms. But we want your foot to come just outside of the hands. Straighten up through the back leg. Bend that front knee, sinking into the stretch a little. Just opening those hips. Right, so we've got to load the bar. I'm gonna load 30 kilos on. That's about 66 pounds. But load whatever's right for you. You're gonna to need to be able to clean and press the bar over your head. That helps you with your weight selection. Feel free to pause the video if you need more time to load your bar. 
we're going to do four exercises, 40 on, 20 off for three rounds, starting with this hang clean and press. So the first one will come from the floor, but all the other ones can just go just below knee level. Get the back flat. So clean and then push breaths. Bring it back just past the knees. Clean, push breaths. I'm gonna keep that bar traveling nice and close to your center line. Use the legs for that push press. Hinge at the hip, flat back start. Focus on quality reps rather than lots of reps. Okay, lying on your back now on the floor. I'm gonna get the barbell in hand. I'm gonna do some leg raises, head and shoulders. I'm gonna be slightly off the floor. We're gonna do leg raises towards the bar. We're just fixing that upper body still. You wanna lower your legs as far as you can go without arching your lower back off the floor. Make sure you don't bash your shins on the bar, but we do want the tailbone to come off slightly at the top. You're not trying to pop it up towards the ceiling, you're just rolling it off. Maintaining tension on the way down. Always finish your rep. Okay, we're gonna pick the bar up. We're gonna take a reverse grip on the bar. So that means palms forward like this. We're gonna do a Romanian deadlift. Do a row at the bottom of every rep. So hinge, pause, row, back to the top, repeat. Hinge, pause, row, back to the top and repeat. Fix that body nice and still for that row. Okay, you're gonna need to get the bar onto your back, ready for a weighted back squat this time. So same as the warm up, but just load it up. So you need to clean the bar up, push press it over, get it on that trap. So you don't wanna have the bar on your neck, you know, a little bit lower down on your traps. Pinch your shoulder blades together, squeezing your back muscles. That'll help set a nice supported line all the way down your back. Knees pushed out, slight hinge of the hip, but a big knee bend as well. Control the tempo on the way down. Tempo wise, I'm thinking three to four counts down and then one to two counts up. Okay, we got quite a short rest. And then we're gonna go back into round two of three in this first of two strength sections. So we're back to that hang, clean and press, but taking the first one off the floor. You want to drive with the hips. That clean should be predominantly a lower body exercise. Driving with the lower back, glutes and hamstrings to get the bar up, not using your shoulders too much. And then that push press, it's a combination of a press with the upper body, 
but an assistance of the legs to get it started. Once that leg raise, so lying on your back. So we're gonna fix the upper body in position with the head and shoulders slightly off the floor. I want you to really focus on the quality of the eccentric lowering phase of the rep. So your lower back should not be arching off the mat in this bottom position here. It should be nice and tight. Shins should almost touch the bar, maybe a couple of inches off. Upper body's maintaining a slight reaching crunch position at the top. That's a tough one to talk whilst you're doing it. Okay, I'm taking that reverse grip. It's got a supinated grip when your hands are this way around. I'm going to do an RDL to reverse grip row. Okay, onto the back squat next. If you've got a rack, it might make some of your transitions a little easier, but you can do it about. So three to four down, one to two up. I'm gonna breathe and brace for the reps. I'm gonna breathe in. A good tip is, Imagine you're standing in a swimming pool that's about chest height. And you're gonna hold your breath for the whole time you're underwater. And then you can release your breath when you get above that chest height water. So with most lifts, you wanna have your core braced for the most challenging part of the lift. So on a back squat, it's at the bottom of the lift. If you have any blood pressure issues, you might wanna just breathe throughout instead of holding your breath for those longer periods of time. This is our Final round, and then we're gonna change the weight on the bar. We're gonna change the exercises after this full round. Technically, I'm doing what we call a push jerk. You'll see me do a little drop under the bar, and then standing up. It's a little bit more complicated, a little bit more efficient. to the floor. Remember, it's all about that lowering phase, making sure you're not arching your lower back off that mat. Even if it means not going as low down with your legs, maybe stopping here, that's fine. Back 
back to your feet. Got that supinated reverse grip, RDL to rail. RDL stands for Romanian deadlift. We're putting a, a row rep at the base of each Romanian deadlift rep. Finishing this first strength section of those back squats. And then we're actually going to increase the weight on the bar for the second strength section. So you've got a minute off, I'm gonna go up to 40 kilos, add in 10 onto the bar, and we'll go to four new exercises. If you want to take your training to a new level, consider joining my TPT virtual studio. This members area gives you exclusive access to an extensive follow along video library not available on YouTube. It also includes written workout plans you can do at your own pace taking the guesswork out of training and optimizing your results. Learn to fuel your body for success with nutrition resources from meal plans to dietary strategies that work. Save yourself from expensive gym memberships, long travel times and average results by joining the virtual studio. To check it out, follow the link in this video's description after your workout. So we're starting off with a pendley row. If you haven't got the big circular plates, you can just do a bent over row instead. Pulling the bar off the floor, it's going to make contact with your upper abs. You're trying to keep your torso as stationary as possible during the rep. I want a fresh breath every rep to brace. Lying on your back now, I'm going to do a floor press. So you're going to take your natural bench press width from the bar. I like to do a little glute bridge push to get the bar into place. Press to the top, controlling down. Back to your feet. Next, I'm going to do a deadlift. I know your deadlifts will be usually a bit stronger than some of your other lifts. This is quite late into the round, so you should be a bit fatigued. So, you're on feet, a 
about hip width apart, pointing forwards, no turnout to the toes. Start with the bar really close to your shins, just clear the knees, and then it should pull back in nice and close to your quads, almost sliding up your quads even. Don't pull with the arms. Your arms should be straight with your lats engaged, keeping your back from rounding. All right, we've got an ab exercise, alternating V-ups. You don't need the barbell for it. Getting sweaty now. So we're gonna go up every time with the hands and alternate feet. I'm leaving one heel on the floor as I alternate legs. Don't worry if you can't get quite as high as this. Just reach up towards those shoelaces. Great job. So there's one round done, two to go in this second strength section. And that'll be the workout complete after that. So we're gonna start back with these pendley rows. So the pendley row just means you're gonna start and finish on the floor. A bent over row means you're gonna be hovering the whole time. You can usually go a bit heavier with a pendley. I like to treat a pendley row like individual singles. Taking a fresh breath and brace every rep. Okay, onto that floor press. Take your strongest bench press width grip on the bar. From a bird's eye view down, from your head down to the points of your elbows when you're at the bottom of the rep, you're making an arrow shape with your body, not a T-shape. So don't flare your elbows out directly in line with your shoulders. Instead, bring them slightly in towards your sides and it'll be a healthier shoulder position. onto those deadlifts. So the tongues of your shoes or the knots of your shoelaces start underneath the bar. Making sure the bar isn't drifting out in front. onto those alternating V-ups. So always leaving one heel on the floor. 
Alternating legs by hands are gonna go every time. Don't worry if your rep looks more like this, with more of a crunch, rather than coming up onto your tailbone like this. I'll take whatever you can do. This is the slightly more advanced version, where you come all the way up, but a nice crunch style V up is fine as well. Okay, don't go anywhere. We've got one round to go, and then that's the workout complete. onto the floor press. Onto the feet for the deadlifts. So knots of your shoelaces under the bar, hands just on the outside of the shins, controlling the lowering phase, resetting at the bottom. Breathe and brace for the rep. So the last set of the workout with those alternating V-ups, upper body and arms going every time, legs alternating.
And that's it, workout complete. Thanks so much for joining me. Let me know in the comments below, how did you find that workout? And where in the world are you following along from? I truly do love to hear that. Here's a five minute cool down stretch, if you fancy doing one. And my members area is linked in the description of this video, if you wanna go and check that out. Or there's a little video here where you can find out more. See you again soon for another workout.